Hey everyone, it's the Sith Justice Warriors coming at you with the latest breaking news regarding the Batwoman series, and I'm here with Princess Lupia. Hey. Hey, so um, let's talk about today's juicy news, which is the fact that Ruby Rose has uh, left, as of yesterday, the CW Batman series, the Bat, ooh, sorry, I, yeah, misgen yeah. I misgendered her, I'm sorry. Yes. The CW Batwoman TV series after season one has ended. So let's look at the article here. So Rose makes a statement. I have made the very difficult decision to not return to Batwoman next season. This was not a decision I made lightly as I have the utmost respect for the cast crew and everyone involved with the show in both Vancouver and in LA. I'm very beyond appreciative to Greg Berlanti, Sarah Sch Schnechter, and Carolyn Dries for not only giving me this incredible opportunity, but for welcoming me, welcoming me into the DC universe. They have done so beautifully. Goes on to more waxing poetic, and then so CW then states, um, "Excuse me, Warner Brothers TV, the CW, and Berlanti Productions. Thanks, Ruby, for her contributions to the success. <laughs> the success." excuse me, of our first season and wish her all the best. The studio network are firmly committed to Batwoman's second season and long-term future. And we, along with the show's talented creative team, look forward to sharing its new direction, including the casting of a new lead actress and member of the LGBTQ community in the coming months. So... Um, kind of cryptic, kind of boilerplate. So, <clears throat> Lopia, what do you think? Well, I saw this yesterday and um, was kind of exactly the way this was portrayed, holy exits. Like, I I will be honest, I, I have only read um, recaps of a lot of the episodes. I tried watching one of the episodes and couldn't get... Uh, couldn't get finished with it God bless um, you. enough to really to really be an aficionado on the show. But from what I understand, the writing is what pretty much the show suffers from. Um, and I probably, I mean, of the few minutes that I did watch, you know, I thought I thought she was fine. I do recall though earlier this year. While shooting this sh for this show, she did get injured several times and they had to like halt the production just because of the fact that she literally, I think she almost got paralyzed, like, or was close to it um, because of all the stunts that are involved. And so um, I, I want to say that this, this isn't a surprise, but it kind of is because, I mean, let's be honest, she kind of was like their poster child. This was, this show was like the poster child for um, LGBT superheroes. Um, so and she's like the Maria Rapinoe? Of, I guess. Of the uh, TV that. series? <clears throat> of the what? Is her name Maria Rapinoe? I just know okay. the last name. Of what? Of TV, of actresses in the LGBTQ. I don't know who Maria Rapinoe is. Rapinoe is the soccer. Oh, uh, man. Soccer. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. So, like, so basically, um, and from what I understand, the show is really dark. Like, it's a lot darker than a lot of CW shows, which also was intriguing because, um, like, I think in the beginning, the protagonist, is you find out, is her sister that she thought was dead. So it's it's just quite interesting. Oh, sorry. The, yeah, the antagonist I meant to say in the show. So anyway, um, and the show kind of grappled with her sexuality in the sense that she knew what she was um, and she was proud to be, you know, who she was. She actually is still in love with the woman that, she had a relationship with and you find out that that woman left her because she left her and got married to a man. <gasps> and like, Oh my goodness. That's sacrilegious. And so like, but because Jesus. She, 
she did it because she wanted to, I guess, move ahead in her career. And having a lesbian love affair was not going to help her. Because I think they were both in the military. Anyway, she's still in love with this woman who's married to a man. And clearly still has feelings for her, too. But it grapples with, like, that part about that woman that was the struggle in their relationship. Is that, like, she she was proud to be who she was. She actually had a gay bar. Um, that's That's one of the bars that she owned. And the other lady, like, just she didn't want to be out, basically. So anyway, I digress. So going back to this this news, um, it's interesting because I wonder what the factors are leading to this. Because if you go back and read it, the, the words are very choice words. A part, of me, a part of me thinks that she's done with filming because the quality of the writing just isn't there and she's getting injured too much and it's not worth it. But another part of me, like a lot of people are saying that like, you know, there, there was some disagreements between her, the show, the people running the show. Again, I'm not an insider to know this, but it sounds like, um, it sounds like, there's two sides of the story here that we just won't know until later. That's what I'm thinking. What about you? I, I, I just couldn't get over the fact that her, the, the two love lovers that, okay, sorry. I digress. <laughs> that she married a man. It's what it's, it's literally like the last of us, right? No, it, it's like where that lady had a baby with a man with, a, with another but uh, anyway it's it's kind of like the fan is this like a fantasy or something to steal somebody's wife i mean is does that mean that she's not a lesbian but she's bisexual anyway sorry we, no, you're, gonna have, you're gonna have to break this down she's living a lie that's what i'm saying okay she's anyway anyway um i wonder the ruby rose was like the hot shit when it came to the lgbtq actress scene i know you have Kristen stewart but even though she's is she well, lesbian Kristen or bisexual stewart, she's probably like yeah something like that she's with a man now wait what yeah she's with a man now wait no there was an article just saying how proud she was with her girlfriend wasn't there yeah but now she's with a man so. oh, wait like because amber heard was also lesbian and then well, she whoever she's bi or like all sexual whatever it is i'm probably butchering it since, but like i'm you know okay I'm, well anyway but what i was trying to get to is she just came off of john wick too did she not yep, yep she was in that movie yep so because there's a couple things i want to touch on um with this article is that i think she probably was unhappy in a sense that she's she was in John Wick. There was probably a lot of press from the friendly media, the Hollywood types that say, oh, this is this is a poster child. But she was also in another movie, like not a Fast and Furious movie, but something she like was that. In, she was actually in um, the or Orange is the New Black. She was oh, yeah, in yeah, another, right, another right. like I didn't know. Who oh, she was in Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. That's what it was. Oh yeah. Anyway, my point my point is is that she's sort of feeling herself a little bit, um, and I, I mean this in a kind of like the typical way that you know you you you, you were part of John Wick too, and I, I I to the point where I don't even remember what she did. Um, that being said, she was probably not happy with the fact it was not being received well. The ratings were not very good. Let's let's be honest in terms of the metrics. And for me, I had no interest because the marketing told me that this show wasn't for me to look at. So I was like, okay, if it's not for me, then I don't need to watch it. Um, and I, I really, I don't have any attachment to the CW universe anyway. The other thing too that I found interesting is why I go to this, I point to this LGBT Q checkboxes. I find it fascinating in this is this statement by CW where they're saying 
they're excited. First off, I don't know if, if, if the big thing is having a checkbox of the alphabet side, what, like, who is a name like that? That just, cause I, as far as I knew, I only knew Ruby Rose. You know what I mean? Well, probably like a lot of others, but probably not as much as her. Maybe because she was more recently, like you said, in Orange is the New Black. And that was a big show for quite a while. I mean, Ruby Rose. I mean, there's also the other two from the Ghostbusters, the women, the all-female Ghostbusters. But again, that's more Saturday Night Live crew, those two. And they're more of a um, comedy. Mm -hmm. So... I'm interested to see, like, for example, what they're telling me here is that because they want to say the, uh, what's her, what's the, what's the character's name? Kane, Kathleen Kane. Kate Kane. Kate yep. Kane. They, they, the Kate Kane must be played by, by an LG, LGBTQ community person. Does that mean if Scarlett Johansson wants to play Kath, uh, Kate Kane, they wouldn't pick her at all? Uh, which, by the way, we've seen that, right? What's that movie? The um, she was she was tagged to play a transgender in um in in Dallas or something, and because of the backlash that she's not a transgender, uh, she lost the role. I think it just kind of sends a a a poor message that if you want more of a bigger audience to be inclusive, you're you're not going to get the best actor or act i'm sorry actor actress i don't know how you want to say it these days but yeah it has to be a checkbox and i think that's a future state question but uh i don't know what the priority <laughs> of the show is because number one with the ratings that i've heard were very low how they got to season two well they they're still committed that doesn't mean it's been renewed for season two it means that they're still committed to making a season two if someone's going to order a new series or season so to be honest with you it it could all be smoke and mirrors and that to your point she saw the writing on the wall and they because we don't know how many seasons cw is on the hook for how many they purchased. I don't think this went past episode 10. Like now I, I, I think it was 20 of 21 or something like, like it was close to the 23. Oh, okay. or so. So this actually got to 20 episodes. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, oh. I just hear the bad news. And that's, so that's all I heard. What I'm saying is, is that, you know, like I'm going to Google it right now, but as we speak, but I, I think that maybe she saw the writing on the wall and decided to cut the ties now. Um, now everyone is saying, oh, it's the long hours that, that she didn't like. It's, you know, the fact that she was getting hurt so many, so much. Which I understand. Um, I, you know. But yeah, I mean, you can't, like, she's not a freaking football player. Like, this is. Oh, a, wait, you you're, know? you're telling me that, that she oh. can't in, in real life beat up Full grown men that that weigh two hundred fifty pounds. I, I thought everybody's equal. <laughs> no, anyway, it, it so, all ser it all seriousness though. I I, I no, understand it that. So sorry, I Go apologize. Ahead. It went to eighteen episodes. Anyway, so I guess the thing is, is like to your point, something happened either on one side or another or both, and they. But based on the verbiage, they all. It sounds like they all mutually agreed to it. So it doesn't sound like she was a diva on the set, although that has yet to be determined. And it sounds like she did get hurt. It could be the long hours. You know, it could be just the stress of it. I mean, she's only been making... I don't know how much stress it is to make Orange is the New Black, and I don't know how much stress it is to make a movie, but, you know, maybe this was just too much. Um, but the more important question is, to your, back to your point, who are they going to fit into the checkbox for them? I don't to, know. To pursue someone who could fit the checkbox that they need that meets the LGBTQ standards and can still carry a show because you're going to really need, like I look at star girl and I'm, I look at her and I'm like, Oh my God, like, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't no offense to star girl, but 
It's another CW, CW show in the DC universe. I don't understand who she is. And it's not enough for me to follow it. You know what I mean? Like, everyone, like, that talks about The Flash says it's so well done. The person that they chose for it is great. Um, but I feel like Batwoman, like, with, with the name Bat in it, like, you really need to find someone who can carry the show. And I thought Ruby Rose was going to be the one to do that. Likewise, you can't cast someone so off key. Do you know what I mean? Like if they can't if they suddenly like you said cast someone like Scarlett Johansson, like you can't do that. Not when you set the precedent that this is a show for this is one of the first superhero shows featuring an LGBTQ character. Like you can't do that. Well, I think too they pigeon themselves in that, but then the other thing is that they they've limited themselves to so again they're catering to the smaller demographic and there it's the Twitterati right mm -hmm. and remember when Ruby Rose was casted they the LGBTQ attacked her because she looked feminine or attractive according to the male gaze like she's like I, I give her that she she's an attractive person right she's not. The, the stereotypical whatever. And yeah. she got attacked for that, which I think was kind of pathetic. Yeah. I, I remember that. I was just like, she's, she's a lesbian who's playing a lesbian, which is what you've asked for. And you push her away because she looks too pretty. Yeah. I hope that's not what it is. Cause no, I, yeah, I think everyone got over was, it, but was like, but I will say like, you know, um, you know, they really said that it's not it's not for everyone to to do it. I just read that Orange is the New Black was nine episodes a season. So doing 20 is probably more than you think for someone who's used to doing nine and not as intense in the stunts, perhaps. Um so I think that could be, it really could be a, an issue. I was thinking more to like po pose this question to you because I myself am thinking of this. I, I mean, it, who will they get to, to fill in the shoes? And it's like, not say these are big shoes to fill. It's just that there, there is this, exactly what you said. There is a specific mold that they set the mm -hmm. precedent for and now, what do you do? And they, you know, it's they, it says because everything is wrapped up, you know, they only did 20 of the 22, like you said, episodes. Um, they have time to look for someone. But who are you going to bring in, like, that will carry the show the same way? That's the thing. That's right. that already kind of set the tone, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I would have said Kristen Stewart, but she, I guess she went to switch sides. I don't know how you want to. No, is Kristen that true? Stewart has like moved beyond movies. Like she's a Chanel ambassador. She, I mean, she does movies, but I'm saying she's beyond TV shows. Like, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, who is a star power to carry this show? Because I. I don't know because you, 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 the CW Warner brothers have pigeonholed that. You said that this lead actress has to be a member of the LGBTQ community, which is all well and fine, but uh, you given the low ratings, who are you trying to get? Is she going to look like a person who physically could do flips and stuff like that? Like the, you know, it's comic books are, are ultimately, a, a fantasy, I guess, if you want to call it. No, you know, everyone looks perfect. They're all men are ripped, chiseled like Jason Momoa, and women are, you know, Instagram models, right? Mm -hmm. So, I, I guess does does do they deviate from the comic book that they look, you know, physically fit and all that stuff? And I I don't know. Like, it, it's this weird. We're we're still in this weird Hollywood thing where despite the fact that Hollywood is getting no revenue whatsoever, we're still doing this, this little game of checkbox. Yeah. And I just, I, 
I have not watched an episode, as I've said. They told me in the marketing that it's not for me. I I don't I mean I don't think I have any interest in looking at it myself, but if you can find a person that fits the checkbox that's actually good, maybe I'll watch it. I just I don't know who is this person. It's I wonder if that's their out, is that because they needed to have this specific checkbox, kind of like what Marvel did with Eternals, didn't they not? Yeah. They they <laughs> Yeah. They said that they, they had to have in the Eternals, this character must be gay and this character must be played by a gay, a gay man or something. Or like this that. character must be a woman played by, even though this character was initially a man. Yeah. Like the, the, when they, when they gender swap characters. Yeah. Well, I'm not talking about gender swap. I mean, like, well, actually, yeah, because they, no, I, in Eternals, that's what they did. There are several characters, like, Selma Hayek's character is actually male in the comic books. So, you know what I mean? Like, they definitely do gender swap. Well, it, but in this case, it's not a gender swap or a, a, no, 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 a no, sexuality yeah, not- swap with Batwoman. I mean, I'm curious because if they pitched themselves with a specific criteria, is that they're out to say, we can't do season two, we just can't find the right person? Yeah. That's the thing. That's what. That's the out. You know what I mean? Which which goes back to what we were saying before. Do they really think they're going to get a season two? Yes, they say that they are dedicated to to getting somebody. But if to your point, if the ratings are not speaking, no one is going to be ordering another season of this. I mean, no one. So I'm kind. Of, I'm. I'm at a loss there. And like I said, I think it was a good premise. I think I think I would have probably watched it if I had time to. I'm not saying I don't because of COVID, but I mean in the sense of like there are other things that I'm trying to catch up on. But like so it's not always like on my top the top of my list, but you know, it's it, in a in another world. I would have been watching it. Shit, I just I just started watching on Sci-Fi the Harlequin series because literally it's it's for adults. It's a cartoon series for adults. <laughs> like she literally says to Batman, "So this is the Bat Cave. This is where you fuck bats." Like that's literally, literally like what she says. And like anyway, and it's just a very different take on it. So like I said, like there are ways to get around and like do it, do it. And I mean, the article in deadline actually says it well, it said, um, you know, maybe they all learned the challenges from the very first, like since the season just wrapped up. So maybe they know better. They know what to do. Maybe 20 episodes isn't what you do for a typical run of this kind of thing. Maybe you get Hulu to buy it. Then you show. Then you could show things on a Hulu audience versus a, a, just a, a mainstream TV. You could do things different there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, like, I I wonder how those that the economics for like a Hulu or Netflix work because it. it well, yeah, can, they, Netflix had to cancel a lot of shows. Going well, I mean, like Shira didn't Shira also um, also get canned. It did, I think. There were a lot of shows though that got canned. So yeah, I, I'm actually curious to see who the casting is if they have season two because it's such a specific qualification. And actually, you know, it'd be hilarious. You know what? It's it it will be backlash anyway because I guarantee you this person has to look fit like um. Another side topic is, you know, Robert Patterson, Pattinson saying he doesn't oh, work yeah. out. He doesn't um, work out for Batman. <laughs> that'll be another topic we because we probably should discuss this with Sirius because he may he may add some fuel <laughs> to the fire on that one. But yeah, the the fact that Zoe Kravitz works out, but he doesn't. I mean, it's it's I don't know. I I guarantee you, whoever they pick. If they get a season two and get the checkbox, is still not going to make them happy. Oh, they gotta be fit. I'm sorry, you can't be beating up people if you're not. 
Like, let's be honest. And they've already established her background. She was in the military. I mean, look at like, look at her. Look, she looks like she can beat up a 250-pound um, Russian, right? Who's who's killed <laughs> 20 people at once. I mean, doesn't she? That, that's, that's fit, right? You know, that's real life, right? This woman who's probably she was, she was 99 pounds. Military. She was in the military. Yeah. In the military. You got to go along with it. But she probably, I mean, she, who knows? She probably could kick my ass anyway, but I wouldn't hit a woman anyway. That being said, um, good luck to that woman in terms of trying to find uh, a new a new um, lead actress. And we'll see. We'll cover it when we'll cover it. And we're, we're definitely going to cover the reactions because I guarantee you Twitter's not going to be happy no matter what. So that being said, uh, I think we'll wrap it up there. So if you like the content, please like, comment and subscribe um if you are subscribed please hit the bell on this uh, for notifications when we go live and um look out this week for uh, a special interview with um chrissy with chrissy yes so that being said we'll head out talk to you later see you on the Bye. sit side